Right, welcome back and uh, to our next uh, topic. And uh, Egypt has already welcomed the efforts made by the uh, Libya 6 plus 6 joint committee formed of the House of Representatives, uh, the HOR, and the High Council of State, HCS, to prepare for the Libyan uh, election laws. That is definitely with uh, the um, help of some of the uh, um, uh, of the members of the committee, the 6 plus 6, in order to uh, be able to help them achieve uh, their aspiration. Uh, um to uh, discuss this issue we have with us over the phone is Excellency Ambaza Hussein Haridi, former assistant foreign minister. Good afternoon to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, madam. So, uh, 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 recently there has been this 6 plus 6 committee that was uh, uh, held in Morocco and uh, Egypt has welcomed the outcome uh, uh, that has, uh, uh, that is only a continuation to uh, what was agreed uh, for uh, the uh, Libyan of preparing for election laws. Uh, how do you view the scene or how do you read the scene in the well, we, uh, as a matter of fact, ma'am, we are not we uh, are not in a position to say uh, definitely that there is an agreement between uh, the State Council in Tripoli and the House of Representatives in uh, Benghazi about the amendments to the election laws. Uh, yes, uh, the news out of Abu uh, Morocco talks were uh, optimistic, were upbeat, and they uh, referred to an agreement, uh, uh, a final agreement between, uh, within the Committee of Six Plus Six. But uh, now there are press reports that there are uh, still differences between uh, the two uh, sides. Uh, maybe they have worked out some differences, but still, uh, they haven't reached uh, a, a final uh, agreement. Anyhow, the uh, special representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Batidi, is, is, is pushing the parties concerned in Libya uh, to move forward and agree on a date where elections will be held, election general elections and the presidential, uh, presidential elections that are supposed to take place in, in, in sequence. Uh, of course, Egypt uh, has always uh, called for the uh, hold, uh, holding of the election so that the Libyan people could express its uh, free will uh, about the next uh, government in Libya. Um, when we speak about uh, 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 um, uh, Egypt's advocating for peace and security. It's one of the constant policies of Egypt to call always for the peace and security of uh, and the peaceful solutions, the political ones uh, for uh, all uh, uh, countries. How do you view the importance of reaching peace, particularly uh, in uh, 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 Libya? And how do you view uh, the importance of the non-interference in the Libyan domestic affairs? Well, of course, uh, Libya, as other uh, Arab countries like Syria, for instance, uh, have suffered uh, have suffered a lot from the foreign interference in the domestic affairs, uh, and that's why that's the reason why the Egyptian government has always called for uh, putting an end to such an interference. On the other hand, as far as the Libya is concerned, of course. The security, when, when Libya is secured, when there is a legitimate government exercising political authority and political power in the context of a constitution that has been uh, agreed upon in a referendum, that, of course, would, uh, would, would, would help uh, the national security of Egypt. Uh, we have uh, witnessed in the last few years how the insecurity in, 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 in Libya has had a, an adverse impact of our national security. But luckily, uh, we have been able, uh, working with uh, some uh, regional partners and working with 
uh, some Libyan political powers, we have been able to defeat uh, terrorism in the eastern part of Libya. But uh, there is uh, a lot to be done, Madam, in, in Libya. And that's the reason why uh, Egypt has, has always called on all Libyan forces, political forces, to uh, come together and hold elections as soon as possible. The 6 plus 6 committee and what they have uh, reached recently of amending uh, laws in order to be able to achieve uh, this uh, uh, elections. Um, how do you view that? Well, of course, uh, this is a historical retrospect. But this committee uh, has been proposed by the United Nations. Uh, as a way uh, to help the Libyans reach a compromise solution and uh, push them to agree on uh, election law, the, the law that will govern, govern elections. Uh, it's an old idea, uh, but uh, they agreed and they formed the six plus six, six members from the High State Council in Tripoli and six uh, members from the House of Representatives in, in, in Bani Razi, and they met in Morocco, as we said earlier, in the program. But still, uh, we are waiting for uh, a, a final text, a final text, an approved text that will be approved by the House of Representatives as well by the High State Council. And this is not, and this is a big if, if uh, they agree on it. Anyhow, uh, let's hope, let's, let, let, let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, the, Libyans, the Libyan political forces would really uh, draft or agree uh, on a definite text uh, as far as the election laws are concerned. Right. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that what uh, we really uh, need to achieve uh, for the aspiration of the Libyan and the African people for a, a, a life of prosperity, peace, and stability. I guess that takes us to the end of this episode of our program. Thank you very much. And thank you so much, Your Excellency, and Mr. Hassan Haridi, uh, former Assistant Foreign Minister, for being with us indeed and for your input. Uh, next Saturday would be another important data file. Until then, goodbye.